eight-legged freaks, which told the story of a small town besieged by thousands of giant spiders that came about due to a freak accident involving toxic waste, because of course it was toxic waste. Eight-legged freaks was a surprise sleeper hit of the summer of 2002, seemingly coming out of nowhere and feeling like a film of a bygone era. It earned the love of audiences and critics alike, with Roger Ebert praising the thrills and subtle wit hidden under its schlocky surface. Like the Kevin Bacon-fronted Tremors a decade before it, the film dropped a horde of monsters on a small, all-American town of wacky, eccentric characters to simultaneously horrific and comically campy effect. The characters that the spiders are preying upon add so much, too, with every town member delivering intentionally campy, tongue-in-cheek performances without losing their earnest charm. Everything from the personality-packed monsters to the eccentric, deliberately theatrical characters combine to make a genuinely brilliant B-movie homage that they just don't make anymore. 